hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel well today we are at the enugu state university of uh, science and technology a suit well this university has been in existence for a very long time and the university was initially called asutech and it was founded in 1980 july 30th by jim wobodo so we're about to see the beautiful school the departments and so many interesting places in the school so guys stay tuned and join me as i move in and show you around this school so guys welcome to enugu state university of science and technology which is located at abani in kanu west local government area of enugu state so in this video i'll be giving you history of the school facts slash history of the school and i also be showing you around at the same time so stay tuned to, till the end of the video to see all i'm showing you and also to get to know some him, important history of the school the university was conceived with the aim to establish an institution that must be closely related to society its industry and above all serve as a catalyst in the technological advancement of the people hence the university's motto remains technology for service the enactment of the law establishing the university by the then anambra state house of assembly was followed by the appointment of late professor kenneth omuka dk as the first president and chief executive of the university and the inauguration of the first provisional council of the university with late professor omuka dk as its first chairman slash president that is october 1980 to october 1983 later professor chinua achebe was appointed pro chancellor and chairman of council with professor chingwe Nyite agk as vice chancellor 1987 to 1988 the management team of the university at that time included mr fc az registrar mr gc akachuku acting bossa and dr mrs ngozi ene university librarian at the end of the professor achebe's tenure professor gaios ibueli was appointed the next pro chancellor and chairman of the university governing council 1989 to 1991 while professor chi gk was still the vice chancellor following the creation of enugu state in 1991 the subsequent change of the name of the university to enugu state university of science and technology Honorable Justice Antoni Anya Golu was appointed the Pro Chancellor and Chairman of the Governing Council with Professor Julius Onora Honor as the Vice Chancellor, 1992 to 1996. The management team under Professor Honor included Dr. Fidelis Oga as the Deputy Vice Chancellor, Mr. F. C. A. Z. as Registrar. Dr. Mrs. Ngozi Ene, University Librarian, and Mr. G.C. Akachuku Bosa. At the end of the tenure of Professor Julius Honor, came in quick succession Professor T.C. Mudu as Acting Vice Chancellor and later Professor Mark Anipu as Acting Vice Chancellor. Also, a new Pro Chancellor and Chairman of Council in the person of Igwe Charles abangu 
with Professor Samuel C. Chuku as the vice chancellor, January 2000 to December 2003. We later put in place the end tenor of Igwe Charles Abangu was followed by the appointment of Igwe Francis Okwo, now late, as pro-chancellor and chairman of council between January 2004 to August 2004. Following the death of the pro-chancellor, a management committee was inaugurated to govern the university between August 2004 and August 2006, with Chief Clement Okwo who was then the head of service in Enugu State as its chairman. Currently now, academic activities are on hold due to COVID-19 and also ASU strike. So, as you can see in this video, the school is very uh, deserted, you can't find students around, but you still notice the structures in the school, the faculties and also the hostels. So guys, we are still on the journey and um, it's, the sun here is kind of different from every other sun in Enugu State. I think this place is like hell zone. <laughs> uh, so, still on it. And I'm right here, I have Chief Vera. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? The sun is too much. All right, still on the journey. Stay tuned. So, like every other university, it should have male and female hostels. So the male and female hostels they have water so also this school they have recreational arenas for students also to enable them get fit so i'll be taking you through that also or your free time you can actually come down here and play volleyball on a normal regular school day i guess there'll be students uh, around here maybe towards in the evening because that's especially when that's when people are usually free in the university to play around and do some other stuffs they also have basketball court then the hostel, the female hostel, they have very amazing facilities around and in it. They also have some fun place within the hostel, place that you can chill and relax. So guys, watch this video to the end to see all these amazing places.
to take a chill sprite to relax. The sun here is killing. So when you are coming to a suit, have in mind that you're going to need cool water or cool sprite like I'm doing right now. Still on the journey, we'll see more. So guys, we are finally done with the tour and this is the neighboring environment. This is how it looks like. This is the environment around the school. Abani. Alright guys, see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notification bell icon while subscribing. Thank you for watching.